Hi there. I'm Matt Vanicoro, and I'm really excited to show you Toy Suite from UVI. Now with this video, we're going to take a look at Acoustic Toys, one of the three instruments included in Toy Suite. Acoustic Toys is a collection of really creative and fantastic sounds that can be musical, percussive, atmospheric, and more. It's all wrapped up in a beautiful and easy to use interface. Let's take a look at this Toy Upright Piano. That's really something, and you can hear a lot of cool sounds inside just that one patch. So first, you can see that we've got multiple mics to work with here. I can turn on the stereo mic in addition to the mono one, and you can really hear that stereo field getting wider and wider and taking up more acoustic space. So if I'm doing like a solo piece, that might be a little bit easier to use, but maybe I just want to use the mono mic if I want this to fit into a mix a little bit better. Now, the other thing you'll hear are the release sounds. It's when I play the note and let go of the note. You hear that? It's not just noise, it's the overtones of the other keys as well. And you can turn that on and off right here. So you can have the authenticity of the sounds and noise of the instrument, or you can have just the pure musical tones. Now you'll see this blue range on the keyboard as well. Notes that are inside of the blue range are the notes that were sampled from the original instrument. Notes that are outside are stretched. And you can really hear that high quality stretching. It doesn't introduce a lot of different artifacts or anything bad like that. Let's check out one of the toy xylophones. Wow, what a rich tone. Now the mono mic you'll notice has a mid-side option this time. And that can add quite a lot of depth to your sound. Now the other thing you'll notice is that there are some red notes at the bottom. Those notes are key switches and they allow you to open up different articulations. So right now I'm using the wood mallet. But if I were to play the note D, I've got a metal stick or a plastic mallet. And within those articulations are even some glissandos, different kinds and different directions allowing you to really get all of the different things you can get out of this instrument when you play it for real. Let's take a look at a few bells. So let's check out this Roundabell preset. Excellent, what a really cool sound. So that's its basic sound, but I could also go to this effect sound. You'll notice there are blue notes spaced apart. And that's different settings and ways of playing this rotary belt instrument. And of course, the blue notes represent the root note and everything else is stretched to give you a little bit more playability out of each of those different effects. Now, this third one, rotary, is a really cool one. Take a listen. You've almost got a natural Leslie in there. They had to get the toy up and running in order to create that natural rotary sound. So if I go back and forth between original and rotary, you can hear a real difference that isn't an added effect. It's an actual sampled layer. Very cool. Let's take a look at some of the toy guitars. Now for this one, we're going to open it up inside of Logic just so you could see the controls of this in the DAW and some cool stuff you can do. So I've got a bunch of loops already mapped out to the notes of the keyboard. And you'll notice that down in this octave, I've got some major chords. And up in this octave, some minor chords. So you can make your own chord progressions.
and you can do it by combining the major and minor options together. But the cool thing is that the tempo of these loops can lock to your sequence in your DAW. So yes, if you're using this on its own, you can adjust the speed. There's a speed control right there, but if you're using it in a sequencer with a DAW, if I play the notes and then try it at a faster tempo, you hear that the stretching happens automatically. So the control is there that you're able to do it through your DAW if you're working on a project or if you're just looking to play it live and change it with the speed control there. So it's really, really great and it allows you to create some cool chord progressions with this toy instrument. Now while we're on the subject of this stuff, let's jump into another great toy, the music box. Now for this one I'm navigating through the menu just so you can see a couple of the different loops. So if you take a look, I've got this one here at 100 BPM. It's going to automatically play. But in addition to that, I can also open up the individual sounds. So UVI has actually separated these into sounds that you can grab and utilize. So I've got this sample right there. It's mapped to F sharp 3. So you hear and it gradually slows down. So every single note and noise has been isolated. Therefore, I can create my own multi-sampled phrases and adjust the start time and the stop time of these samples so that I can use any sound of that. Now, of course, there is a multi-sampled instrument already created. So if I just open that same German Boxes preset, if I want to use the tonal sound of it, but of course the mechanical noises and the full character of the instrument is included in that collection of samples for this particular instrument. Now let's go on to a drummer. Now this is really cool because this is a very cheap baby drum set but recorded in a very not cheap uh, professional recording studio. I'm pretty sure my kid has one of these. Now, of course, you can use this as a regular standard MIDI drum set. You've got control of the kick, snare, the hi-hat, all the things that you want. But there are also some professionally played loops in here. So I can open up loops and phrases and use that rock drummer. And let's say I go into the funk loops. Now, I can take that and use drag and drop, drop it into my sequence. And now I've got that particular sound. Perfectly tempo locked. I can repeat it. And if I want to, I'll grab one of those fills. So let's just drop that fill in there. Let's play it. Yeah, super fun. So I've got access to use these inside my digital audio workstation, whether as an instrument or as a collection of loops that I can drop in that will be perfectly tempo locked. Let's jump back in. So I've got a large rain stick here, a very classic sound. And using that stretch function, if I drop it down an octave with the original, what an amazing atmosphere. For Foley work, that actually really does kind of sound like rain. Now, there's also some melodicas and harmonicas. Let's check out an accordion. So you'll notice I'm moving the mod wheel there and the mod wheel is changing a little bit of the filter, sort of opening it up and closing it down for me to just adjust the tone of that accordion as I play, make it a little bit less uh, upfront and in your face. So that's really fun. Now, there's a couple of other instruments that use that too. Let's look at the recorder. As a public school music teacher, I'm pretty familiar with this one.
So you heard I can change articulations from legato to more of a staccato. And of course, they actually have a few free-flowing sounds there. But one of the coolest things about this is that you can really map some expression to it very quickly. So if I wanted to, I could have the modulation wheel just controlling the pitch a little bit to give it some lovely vibrato. Now, if I don't want the vibrato to be centered around pitch, but more on dynamics, I could just adjust it up here to the amplitude. Some really very lovely sounds there. Another great fact about Toy Suite is that it truly contains the largest collection of animal boxes in the galaxy. <laughs> I can't think of another instrument that gives you those kinds of sounds. And that's really taking me back to when my kid was still a toddler. Wow. So great for some Foley work too, if you want. There you go. That is the acoustic toys instrument inside of Toy Suite. Now remember, Toy Suite comes with acoustic toys, electric toys, and the 8-bit synth. And we've got videos demonstrating all three of those instruments. So I hope you check all of them out. It's Toy Suite.